Hi everyone and welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're gonna make a very delicious garlic and herb Dutch oven bread. Now there are a lot of recipes on the internet for Dutch oven bread and I don't know the origin of this, but we're gonna put a little twist on it and add some really good flavor and it's gonna be a great tasting bread. So join me as we make garlic and herb Dutch oven bread. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put our dough hook on our mixer here. This is a Professional 6 KitchenAid mixer and it's great because it can handle this kind of heavy dough. So we're going to go ahead and put four cups of bread flour. You want to use bread flour because it's higher in protein than all purpose and it'll give us a good structure to the bread. So we're going to go ahead four cups of bread flour. Three. Next we're going to put in a teaspoon of salt and we're just going to put that sort of on one side of our dough. Then we're going to put in a teaspoon and a half of active dry yeast and we're going to put that on the other side of the bowl. We don't really want the salt in the yeast to activate too quickly. So next we're going to put one and a half cups of 110 degree water. You want it about 110 degrees, too much more than that you're going to kill your yeast, right? So we're going to go ahead and turn on our mixer here. And we're going to put in the water. And we're going to let this knead for five to ten minutes um, and the mixer is going to do all the work for us. You may have to adjust your water a little bit. It depends on how dry your flour is, how humid it is. Um, so when this starts coming together, we'll maybe put in a tablespoon or two either flour or water, depending on what we need to get a nice dough. See how our dough is just a little on the dry side? I'm gonna go ahead and put maybe a tablespoon more water in here. And see how now the dough is coming together nicely? So we're just going to let this knead, um, we're going to let the KitchenAid go and we're going to let it basically take the dough to the stage where it's, um, you know, it's going to be soft and I'll show you how to tell when it's kneaded all the way. Um, dough has come together we're gonna go go ahead and add about a tablespoon of chopped thyme we're also going to add a whole roasted bulb of garlic and if you want to know how I um, roasted the garlic I have a video on how to roast garlic I'll put a link down below in the description it's really easy a little olive oil a little salt and pepper throw it in some foil and throw it in your um, oven for a half hour at 400 degrees makes it nice and mellow and it's soft and it has that really distinct roasted garlic flavor and this is really going to give this bread a really really nice flavor so we're going to go ahead and continue with the kneading process and all this is going to combine One of the 
of the things with bread is you really have to get used to how the look and the feel the more you um, bake bread. Once I put the garlic and the, um, the thyme in there, it sort of sloshed around a little bit. So I added just another dusting of flour to bring it all back together into a ball again. going to flour our surface here just a little bit we're going to take our dough out and wow it looks really nice it looks you can see the herbs all going through it we're just going to knead it a little bit it's a really stiff dough because this is going to be a really hearty loaf of bread and we're just going to smooth it out here a little bit and we're gonna take the bowl of our mixer and we're just gonna put our loaf of bread in here. So here we just have some saran wrap, some plastic wrap, and we're going to cover our bowl for our first rise. And you kinda of want it on here tight. Um, we're gonna put this kind of in a warm spot um, some people turn on their oven at like 100 degrees and then turn it off so it's nice and warm in there. Um, we're just going to leave it out on the counter here. So we're actually going to let this rise about two hours. Um, it's going to double in size. When it doubles in size, you can actually let it rise up to four, four hours, five hours if you want to. But we're just going to let it rise maybe two hours, maybe three hours. And when it doubles in size, we're going to take it out and shape it. Okay, so it's been about three hours, and we're going to go ahead and remove our um, plastic wrap here. And it has really risen. You can see all the herbs in there, um, the thyme. And what we're going to do is we're just going to punch it down, just like that. It's pretty amazing, huh? It instantly goes back to our dough. And we're gonna put it out onto a cutting board. We're gonna put a little bit of flour on our cutting board, not too much. And then we're just gonna roll our dough. It smells so good. The garlic and the herbs, wow. It is just outstanding. And then we're going to, oops, I need a little on my hands, right? It's a little sticky. We're just going to knead it. You don't need to knead it too much. You just need to bring it together and get the air out of it. And then we're going to flip it over. And I usually do this. It just smooths the dough out and shapes it into our um, loaf. Beautiful. Okay, so we have an enameled cast iron Dutch oven. These are really great because they don't quite have the maintenance that a regular cast iron um, pot would. You can use a regular cast iron. I just like these just because of the cleanup, right? This is about an eight quart, but you can use a six to an eight quart for this recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to oil this slightly with a tablespoon or so of some olive oil. We're just gonna rub this around in here. And then we're gonna put our dough in here. And what I usually do is I'll put my dough, um, the top side up, I put it in here, I wiggle it around a little bit and then I flip it over. And then we're gonna put the lid back on and we're going to let it do its final rise for another hour. And when it's done with that, this baby's going in the oven. So we're going to do a quick little X on here. Um, we're just going to score it a little bit. It'll help in the rising. Just be careful not to hit it too hard, otherwise you'll deflate it. about 50 minutes we're gonna let it rise maybe for 15 more minutes and then we're gonna put it in the oven 
Okay, so we are going to brush our bread with a little bit of olive oil. And this is just to shine it up a little bit. You just need to be careful because you don't want to deflate it. So you're going to brush it really lightly. We're going to put our lid on and we're going to put this in the oven. We are going to bake it at 450 degrees for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're going to take the lid off. We're going to lower the oven down to 375 and we're going to finish cooking it off. We know it's done when it's nice and golden brown and when you thump on it, it gives you a nice hollow sound. Okay, so we're going to turn this down to 375 and we're also going to take off the lid of the Dutch oven and it's starting to look good. We're just going to let it brown up and um, we'll see when it's done. The exact time really depends on your oven. So we'll be checking on it maybe in 10 minutes to see how far we're, we're coming. Okay, so we got the bread out of here. We're just going to get it out of the pan. I think this is one of the toughest things is to get it out of the pan without burning yourself. I just got two spatulas here and I'm going to lift it out onto a wire rack. Wow. It looks really good. Um, you can tell it's nice and brown. Um, when you tap on it, you get that hollow sound. Wow, this bread is going to be wonderful. I'm going to take a sniff and woo! Wow, it's just, it's just beautiful. So we're going to let this cool for about a half hour. We're going to cut into it and put a little butter on it and have a taste. So let's cut a piece and take a taste. It smells really good. You can really smell the garlic. Um, it's got the whole house smells like bread. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just put a little butter on this. So we'll go ahead and take a little taste here. Mm. Nice crisp crust. Mm. And you can really taste the garlic and the herbs. It is really fantastic. I really think the Dutch oven, um, I mean, this is not a soft bread, it's a hearty bread. So the Dutch oven sort of gives you that crust on the outside, but does leave it soft on the inside. So it's really good bread. It will stand up to making garlic bread, making paninis, all that stuff. It is really, really delicious. And the butter is really good too on there. Garlic flavor, you can taste the thyme. It is just outstanding. If you like this recipe, please leave a comment and subscribe and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at amylearnstocook. So now that our dough has come together, we're going to go ahead and add, and we're also going to add a whole roasted clove of bulb. Next, we're going to put in a teaspoon of yeast and That's salt. 